Hello and welcome to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. My name is Andras. Hello, my name is Taylor. Today we're going to discuss the differences between two configurations, that is 7x30 and 7x50 when it comes to binoculars. And generally these two configurations are limited to marine use. True. What are the general features that we can apply to both? Well, most of these binoculars, or almost all of them, come with a poroprism system. So basically the whole market is going towards uh, roof prism systems, but uh, the marine market uh, stays with poro because of uh, all the advantages uh, that uh, poro prism gives in such, such use. And with poro prism system, there is also individual focusing for each eye separated. This type of focusing has two main advantages. One of them is that uh, the waterproofing is really done well with this type of focusing. The second advantage is that in the low light uh, use, uh, you're able to, to use the binoculars better because you never wonder is the object in focus or not? Because you only set the, the focusing for each so eye separately set once. So you it once and then you focus with your eyes. Yeah, you focus with your eyes through your uh, binoculars. The main disadvantage is the close focusing distance. With this kind of system, the close focusing distance is around 10, 15 meters. Yeah, I think even less. 20 meters yeah, with, 20 with meters, some yeah. models, yeah. yeah. But on this 7x50 and 7x30 uh, configurations, the individual focusing is done because of the waterproofing. This is the main, the main reason. Uh, single hinge, so a single bridge, they're all very waterproofed and majority of them are made out of uh, uh, plastic materials for the housing. In, in Steiner case, like we have two Steiners here, they use Macrolon, one's uh, special plastic for this uh, purpose. Uh, what is also common to both of these two binoculars is that the outer materials this rubberized uh, armor around the binoculars is made in a way or the material chosen is such that um, it can withstand uh, salt water, so sea water, and it can withstand sun because a lot of these binoculars get exposed to sun a lot on ships, on boats and so on. So these are the common features. Uh, the price range of this type of binoculars goes from, I would say the most affordable ones start at 150. 200 euros somewhere here. Everything below that is uh, really of questionable quality. And then the most expensive models like this one with a uh, laser rangefinder integrated or with a compass integrated, uh, it uh, usually they stop at 2000 euros, the best models. So it's quite a wide range of possibilities. If we talk about suitability, yeah. I already mentioned that this is meant for marine use. Uh, so if you're on a sailboat, if you're on yeah. a ship, this is a really handy binocular to have. Also, if you're just, I don't know, walking near the water and want to observe the sea or wildlife at the sea, mm -hmm. this is very useful. Um, I want to, uh, here, I want to point out the importance of having the strong build quality and the waterproofness. Mm -hmm. If these binoculars fall into water, you don't have to worry about anything. And on top of that, they're often supplied with a um, floating strap that comes in a vibrant color. This one is in yellow, some are also in orange. With the commander, it is supplied. With navigator, you have to buy it extra, but it's definitely a useful thing to have. So, marine use, sailboats, yeah. and ships. This is why these binoculars are very suitable for marine use, because seven times magnification is probably the highest yeah. magnification you can use with uh, on sailboats or any ships, uh, not to suffer from... Uh, uh, sea sickness. Sea sickness. Yeah. This is the reason. And I went sailing this year mm -hmm. and I have to point out that even with when the waves were a little bit higher than usual, seven times magnification was still comfortable to use. Yeah. So um, there is some uh, truth behind that. Okay, if we go to the differences between, and this is the main question of this review and also a question which we receive so many times from our customers. Should I go with a 7x50 model or should I go with 7x30 model? Uh, so, if we go to the optics, in terms of field of view, they're really, really similar. All of 7x30 and all of 7x50 binoculars, they have a field of view between 120 meters for those more affordable models, all the way to almost 150 meters for the best models on the market. And it's funny because if you look at other configurations, the smaller lens usually gives you the wider field of view, but not in this comparison. Yeah. The field of view is almost the same. If we, if we check the same series, right? Yeah, yeah but yeah. also when we check from other manufacturers, 
it's, it's not a big difference because let's say with if you checked our uh, 8 by 42 versus 8 by 32 binoculars there you see that uh, 8 by 32 binoculars have a really wider field compared to the 8 by 42 but not in this comparison so field of view is almost the same low light capabilities 7 by 50 winds hands down uh, it's twice as bright as 7 by 30 almost but because you used it on the sea in most cases during the summer yeah. at least here in europe people go on the sea mostly in, in the summer yeah. it doesn't really shines uh, it doesn't excel as much because it's not used in low light yeah. as much maybe at, in rare cases where you come to the port in really evening hours i would say yeah. when it's already the dusk is starting to come in and then you see in, the difference in, then you see the difference then. yeah then 7 by 50 is much better okay so the comfort the comfort uh, of use is better with 7 by 50 because it has a uh, better eye relief and uh, better um, eye box or how to say the the space where your eye needs to be to get the clear image uh, 7 by 30 are a little bit more sensitive to the eye position uh, so in this respect they are more co comfortable to use but when you are wearing them around your neck let's say for a prolonged period of times then 7 by 30 is far more comfortable yeah they are almost yeah, if you cut the weight by half, half so yeah. it's half a kilo and this one is around, around one kilo. kilo and it's important to know that if you have a compartment like a compass it usually adds 150 grams of weight yeah so even bulkier if you have okay it. so then we come to the differences in terms of eyepieces i didn't mention in common general features that uh, eyepieces are usually uh, only of two positions and made out of rubber so they are less sophisticated than with 8 by 42 models and yeah. those roof prism models uh, still, for use with glasses, 7 by 50 is usually a bit better because it has a longer eye relief. Yeah. 7 by 50, the best models have around 22-24 millimeters of eye relief, which is, which is really, really a lot. In terms of pricing, uh, if we look the same series, like here, let's say Steiner Navigator, 7 by 50, Navigator, 7 by 50, and uh, uh, Navigator, 7 by 30, the price is approximately 15-20% higher. So the price difference is not that big. Yeah, and if we look if in the Commander series, there is no 7x30. So no. we can infer from that that um, the 30 model is probably meant more for amateur use, mm -hmm. whereas the 50 models are more for professional use, yeah. at least aimed at that it's, audience. It's understandable. Yeah. Also for kids, if you have kids on the sea, uh, normally 7x30 yeah. is a normal choice. Lighter, lighter less bulky. Okay, so on Rush, I think we... As, as you have seen in the in this review, we stayed mostly with Steiner because Steiner is the yeah. leader in, in terms of uh, optics for, for marine use. There are other manufacturers also, so we are talking generally 7x30x7x50, by 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 even though not many other manufacturers are actually producing 7x30. Yeah. It's difficult to keep up with Steiner because they're... Yeah. So, yeah. if we do a short summary, which one to take when? So when would you go with 7x50? I would say if you're a professional sailor, if you are, I don't know, sailing frequently, if you uh, also want to benefit from night, from dusk use, mm -hmm. then go for the big model. If you wear glasses also. If you wear glasses also, yeah. 7x30? If you're an amateur user, if you, I don't know, have kids on board, mm -hmm. if you, um, I don't know, if you, if you are more into compact binoculars and won't be using them as frequently then go with a smaller version I definitely and uh, especially because during daytime use because the field of view is almost the same you won't notice much difference uh, if you are not wearing glasses and but you will notice the difference in size and weight definitely so yeah. this is more for professional use this one is if you're looking something compact and small I think we covered most of the bases. If we forgot something, please use the comments below. Ask questions, we will definitely get back to you. If you liked our video, subscribe and see you in the next video. And also check the individual reviews on the models here and here. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.